am going to be working with Ally Pearl today. Um, they sent me over their straight 26 inch closure 5x5 wig. Um, I have already taken a look, but I'm going to unbox this still with you guys. Let's get into the packaging. This is a beautiful, beautiful gold box that they definitely just upgraded to. Anyways, they sent me over some goodies. Here I have these some lashes, wrap to preserve my edges, an edge comb, band to melt the lace, wig cap, and a storage bag for the wig once I take it off. And of course, the wig. Now, let's get into how this has already been hot combed. Like you can tell, that this has already been hot combed. It's already had its knots bleached. This is quite literally a wear and go wig. All you have to do is cut the lace and it's also glueless. So you don't even have to glue it down. Cut the lace, adjust the band and put it on. It's got combs in the front to latch on to your braids. And then of course the adjustable band to the wig itself and another comb at the bottom like always. This right here is so, so nice and convenient. Look how thick this is. Also, for this to be 26 inches, I am five, seven and a half, and this goes past my waist, like at, at my hips. So, this is a long 26 inch. The camera's not doing this justice, how they went ahead and put details into the closure like all you literally have to do is put it on that is they're really switching up the game you guys <laughs> they're cracking the code and although I like it I'm going to be dyeing it jet black this is a beautiful brown black but I love a good jet black bust down middle part so I will be dyeing this today. Here is my setup for everything that I'm using today. Here is the dyes that I'm using. I got three because this hair was so thick. That's a part of why I went ahead and opened it without you guys. The hair is so thick I did not want to run out of dye and it's long. So I got me some Ion Intensive Shine dye. It's a permanent, shine, uh, permanent dye. Um, this is in the shade Intense Black. I also got me some uh, gloves and some tools to help make it easier. All right, so getting started, I definitely went ahead and preserved my nails and I opened one box of the dye to color the closure because you don't wanna get your closure messed up. So I like to hand, I like to, the rest of it I watercolor, but for my closure, I love to Use my hand with a regular brush and be precise on that lace so that I do not dye it. Um, you guys will see when I dump it how I still preserve the lace from the dye that's in the water and the dye that is already on the lace. I run it through with my comb after I get it good to make sure every piece is covered with dye. I also don't go too close to the roots because it is already pre-bleached. And I do like that light brown closer to my roots because it makes it look more natural. So I go ahead and add the rest of what was in my first box and I mix the other two and I put it in my bowl first and I add my hot, hot, hot water and I go ahead and dump the wig in. But you'll see, as you can see here, I'm being very careful with the front. I get me a little clip. So that if the hair continues to seep in, that, that lace is not touching the water. So I go ahead and push it in with my hands and my little spatula, you know, to get it as good as I can so I don't drip any dye on my lace. Um, that's my little trick. I think it works so perfect. It, it saves so much time. This wig is so thick. The density is crazy. And just any wig, I just do not do that. So um, now that I did it, I did let it air dry. This is the next day. That's what I have on makeup. Um, I let it air dry. I don't know what it is about weave, but it is so hard to blow dry. It's so much more different than hair on your head. Um, so I let it air dry. It still is a little damp, so I do go ahead and do me a little blowout, which to me helps with straightening hair. I feel like it makes it much more silky, and it's already pretty straight once you've you know blow dried it with the blow dry chrome it just makes it so much easier 
this hair did take me a while to splatter not because it didn't get straight look how silky it is it's because it's so thick <laughs> i keep mentioning that because this wig is thick it made me have a time i had a time this is this is you know chopped and screwed but i straightened this hair for i think at least an hour and a half because it's so thick and i really wanted it super silky and straight so i didn't mind to invest the time um i wanted it to be perfect and it came out really really nice so yeah i'm just gonna straighten the whole wig um i don't use my hot comb at all when i straighten it because um i use it a little bit at the end but i really love that heightened root because it makes it look so natural and so i don't know it just doesn't look as wiggy so I don't use a wax stick because you guys know I like to style my wigs on my mannequins but I didn't for this wig I didn't use all of that for this wig because the look I was going for so yeah oh yeah I love my turn up the heat that is amazing it's a heat protectant but it's such a good um moisturizer for the hair because it has some argan oil in it as well but it's not like heavy for the hair it just makes it have an extra shine and it like sticks to one another it's not as frizzy so I love that turn up the heat. So yeah, I just used my regular flat iron. It worked perfect. I did about, you know, three passes in total because it didn't need it. But yeah, this wig is amazing. It's so silky. Okay, as you guys can see, I have my braid down and I am ready to place this wig on. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten my glueless strap because I do wanna wear it glueless. Next, we're just gonna just flip it on. this lace it looks so good <laughs> I'm gonna zoom back here out. okay I'm going to go ahead and perfect my part here I don't want it too flat, I want it to be natural looking. So I'm not using a wax stick and I'm not gonna use this at its hottest setting. It's just warm enough to make a difference. <laughs> Look at this side compared to this side, not too much just enough for it to look neat and not wiggy. <laughs> this is so pretty, oh my gosh. Look at how silky. Look at how perfect and silky. And that is the final look. Thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much to Allie Pearl Hair for sponsoring today's video. All the information you'll need on this wig will be in the description box below. And until next time, you guys, I'll see you later.